Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next war recap video. And this was kind of a farming war, as we call it. Not very close, but I decided to recap it because it had some good attacks. Their bases actually weren't bad. Uh, just their attacking was the main thing that decided the war. So i um, not going to go through the bases, just uh, not worth it. We'll just take a look at some of the attacks because there were some pretty nice ones. And we'll start with a Town Hall 11 attack. Um, this is against a maxed out base. You can see it has those new archer towers. And I'm sure you guys see this base a ton. I know I've seen this Town Hall 11 base pretty much everywhere. It's kind of a forum space or whatever you want to call it. Just something that people use, I guess an internet base. Um, we're looking at Mimo take it out. And uh, he goes ahead and doubles the poisons. Typically you don't want to do that because I'm pretty sure poisons don't stack like that. So drop them in two different locations would be better. But anyway though, uh, this is a good guide I guess if, if you guys are wondering how to take out this type of base. Um, kind of interesting here, he comes in with his with his three heroes, uh, uses the Warden's ability which typically you see used on the miners because that has a pretty profound effect on them. But it still works on the heroes and he was able to get in there and get the uh, the eagle taken out which is pretty important to the attack. Pops the queen's ability, she'll get some more value before she goes down. Then the warden kind of peels off uh, as he always does to follow the main uh, groups of the miners. Uh, has these four heals for them so he'll just start dropping those now. Actually I think he might have had five heals. Um, so starts dropping those in, letting the miners work their way around the base. They kind of ignore those inferno towers but it really doesn't matter that much. Without the eagle hitting them, uh, they're not taking a ton of damage. They still get the heal uh, benefit when they go underground. And they move pretty quickly, um, being level 4 and in such large groups. He has you know tons of miners. So this is going to make their way around this space. Uh, no big deal that they're not going into the core. And um, this last little island of defenses will go down pretty quickly. Good placement on the heal to cover those defenses, especially the wizard tower, uh, which can do some damage to them. So anyway, things just kind of keep moving their way around. Um, eventually he'll get uh, the entire 360 on the base and then they'll uh, head straight for the core. So anyway, go ahead and go times two just because it's kind of slow from here on out. But the miners make their way through. Uh, only a few defenses at the bottom here. Drops that last heal so has some pretty full health, yeah full health miners for the most part that will kind of make that last assault on the core. I guess some giant bombs in there could have thrown this off. Uh, and there was one right there, but still being in such large numbers, they just don't go down, especially with that warden on them. So anyway, nice attack to Mimo, uh, or Memo, however it's pronounced. You know, every name has two pronunciations, I think, uh, as it seems in one hive. But yeah, good attack. Uh, we'll take a look at a Town Hall um, 10 attack. I showed quite a few from uh, the minor queen charge video. But we still have some other ones and this one I really liked because it kind of uh, broke down the base based on kind of how it was laid out. So you can see this one has the two inferno towers separated. So what uh, Zedekiss is going to do, he's going to come in for that uh, right inferno tower with his kill squad uh, being a golem, some bowlers and the heroes. Just let those uh, troops go to work, uh, drops down the jump and the king, everything moving forward. Important that he funnels in the bowlers, which he does. Those guys can always walk on you even when you think they won't. So great job on the funnel there. The CC troops also kind of pull them in, I think. And uh, gets to that first Inferno Tower really quickly. Um, actually doesn't go down for a moment. But right there, the king gets it. It's down. And then from here, he decides just to kind of leave it at that. Then come in with the miners here. I think that was a good decision um, because it's tough to get the bowlers uh, through the town hall compartment all the way over to the other inferno tower at that point It's easier just to you know only use the The one jump instead of having to bring multiple jumps and then just let the miners get in there for that next inferno Because at the angle he dropped them the inferno tower is one of the uh, The earlier buildings they do take out so it goes down the giant bombs do go off But at this point uh, both infernos are down so the heals will be very effective uh, You can see the queen is still up He'll pop the ability in just a moment uh, right there. Still has a heal left for the miners, which will drop down. And uh, they've pretty much taken out this, this entire base. So nice attack. Um, once again, you can see how he sent his troops in. Uh, 
adjacent to each other, so it really gives the tanking value, which is one of the reasons the queen stayed up so long before she finally goes down to this can or maybe not. No, the cannon only had a you know a sliver of hit points left. So the queen actually survives the whole attack, which I guess only further emphasizes uh, how by sending in those miners next to the kill squad, you get some extra value from your queen and anything else in the kill squad that can stay up long enough. So nice attack to Zedekus. Um, we have some awesome Town Hall 9 attacks to show, and it's not your typical, you know, bowler in the CC. These are some interesting ones. Uh, so we're taking a look at uh, 15 first, uh, Mickey. And uh, like I said, something different. Back to dragons, what we used to see back in the day. Um, actually, not even that long ago, just before bowlers became the new meta at Town Hall uh, 9. Dragons were very powerful, and you can see right here, um, those three air defenses are all kind of accessible by the same compartment. And the, the, they had pretty spread out bases at Town Hall 9. They did not use many compact bases at all, really. And uh, that makes it even better for these uh, types of attacks because the Queen Walk is so powerful. She can basically just walk through an entire base because there'll never be more than like two point defense on her as long as you funnel her in correctly. And right there after the gold storage goes down, she'll enter the compartment and he'll drop those healers. I like how he waited on the healers just to see how she'll enter the base so uh, they don't get too close to the air defense. So it works out really nicely there. And uh, you can see because everything is so spread out, she'll just methodically make her way through, taking out buildings one at a time. Already sends in those dragons because they have a long path they have to go through. And I like the king, how he, uh, he used the king sends in the uh, the king kind of around the outside. He'll get a few archer towers because this guy had so many exposed defenses, but more importantly even, he'll get the, the all the trash buildings and stuff, uh, which will help keep the dragons inside the base so they don't get too off track. That actually got some great value. There was like two Teslas there, has a few balloons as well. Um, the king does go down, but he did his job and most of the dragons are still inside the base. Another two Teslas on the outside, but the queen's got them pretty easily. And uh, I don't even think he's used a rage on his queen yet. Uh, maybe he has. I'm going to miss that. Maybe for the CC troops. But besides that, the point defense really hasn't been an issue, like I said, because it's so spread out. So the queen gets in there, gets that last air defense. The dragons grab the defensive queen. And from there, this base is toast. Uh, good job deploying those dragons early so he didn't run out of time. Always want to get those things done early, especially if the queen... You know, she might have more air defenses to take out, but unless they're going to be an immediate threat to the dragons, go ahead and get them going and try to time it if you can to save yourself some time. So anyway, we'll fast forward to the end. Awesome attack to uh, Cerulean, I think is how you say that. Um, might, be, might be a new member. Uh, but anyway, we have two more attacks to show. Uh, we're looking at Yaji. I'm sure uh, you guys have seen him on the channel before. And he's bringing in another air attack. Um, this, these, I guess this clan just kind of lent itself to air at Town Hall 9. Uh, drops down the queen with her healers, the baby dragon, and uh, the king on the other side just for the funnel it looks like. So not really big uses on the king on either one of these attacks. But sometimes the queen walk will get plenty of value. Um, so d drops the king down. He'll take out some trash buildings. Looks like he won't aggro the defensive queen, but that's okay. Um, his own queen's going to get in there, and she'll grab the defensive queen anyway. So does a nice uh, wide funnel with the king. Has the baby dragon to the other side, which gets some great value. Getting a lot of trash buildings taken out, which not only gets the funnel created, but saves time at the end by having uh, you know a lot of the skeleton of the base already taken out, uh, even before the uh, d defensive targeting troops are done. So uh, the queen gets in there, she'll grab two air defenses and the defensive queen, all with just the rage and the four healers. I actually dropped down a jump for her as well, has the poison for the CC troops, and uh, you can see how deep the queen's gonna get into the space. Against these spread out bases, I'm telling you guys, think about going back to some of these air attacks uh, we used to see because the queen walk is so powerful especially if they leave two air defenses or even three air defenses close together along with like the enemy queen and the air sweepers anything extra is a bonus anyway drops in the lava hound you can see there's a tesla farm right there but the queen's gonna help out that haste was dropped uh, really far back which i think actually worked out okay because 
It got the balloons moving quickly from the beginning, and the effect stays with them for a few seconds after they leave it. Uh, that next rage to get them moving onto the air defense, and the last Lava Hound goes in with that haste. Again early, but gets those balloons moving, I think, better early than late. So good deployment on his spells there, and you can see how many balloons he has left up. That Lava Hound did not pop. It's in that group of balloons right there. Uh, so you can see that's the one thing. doesn't have quite as much cleanup. But anyway, uh, drops in these last few balloons. Good placement on that Wizard Tower because the Wizard Tower can do some damage to that big group of balloons that's left up. But uh, by doing it that way, the balloon will tank and also get some pretty good damage on the Wizard Tower. So it's just a matter of one uh, balloon drop or one hit will take it out. Uh, had a few, Wizard or two for cleanup along with the Queen, who was still up, which is a great asset to have uh, late in the attack in some Lava Pups. Everything goes down. The king doesn't even go down, but it's still 100%. He's not part of the percentage. Um, awesome attack to Yaji. Uh, one ward, number 21. We're looking at Costly, and he brought just a nice Valk attack. Um, I am showing some of the higher up bases because below like 22, really, below 21 even, I guess, um, the bases are pretty low level. So I wanted to show some, you know, at least decent Town Hall nines this guy's heroes are kind of average but uh they're still you know good layouts pretty much max defenses decent layouts i should say they're not the best layouts i've seen but they're certainly better than some you see against uh other farming clans and we call them farming clans not because they're in this to farm i just want to clarify that because for us it's kind of a quote-unquote farming war it's not a competitive war for us but um, i'm sure a lot of these clans are actually winning a number of their wars so i don't want to sound like they're just in it for farming because they're not. That's just the terminology we use. Uh, so anyway, I had to clear that up in case someone was offended. He was in uh, Nong Don Vien. I should just stop before I offend too many people. Uh, so anyway, Costly coming in here. I like that jump just right in the middle on the CC there. Opened up pretty much the entire base. And the, because he had so many Valks, they moved quick enough that the jump didn't wear off really. They were able to pretty much access all the compartments and then finish towards the bottom here without that jump wearing out because they move so quickly in those big numbers. Uh, the king is still at full health, a few hogs to flank, but really, if you can get your Valks moving through the base, especially the middle of the base, taking out defenses and things of value, uh, that's pretty much all you need. As long as they don't get off track, they can take out pretty much an entire base because they're pretty powerful at Town Hall 9 as they've been since that one Valk update. So anyway, things slow down a little bit here because the hogs die, and uh, that base actually looks kind of familiar. I'm thinking I might have attacked it once when I was at Town Hall 9. Uh, maybe I, I can't remember now. But anyway, the queen's following everything up. Uh, the king's still full health. Quite a few Valks, some wizards. Uh, great job on this base. Good base identification. Seeing what to use on it and then this coming through. Sometimes you don't have to overcomplicate. Just bring a lot of Valks. And he even has the one heal left over that he doesn't have to use. So awesome attack to Costly. Hope you guys enjoyed this war recap. Uh, definitely not the most competitive war, but still had some nice attacks uh, because their bases were actually uh, pretty good. So anyway, uh, more videos to come this weekend. And well, actually, a little ways from the weekend. It feels like the weekend because I just finished work for the week. But uh, more videos for the week and then the weekend to come. So stay tuned for those. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.